Good morning. Thank you for joining us today at SDS Con 2018, our second annual Statistics and Data Science Conference. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mike Sipser, and I'm the Dean of Science here at MIT. Uh, let me first say that I'm delighted to be he here with you at this meeting, um, to see the outstanding lineup of speakers, and to celebrate our young Center for Statistics and Data Science. The center is relatively new, uh, but it has been a long time in coming. Let me just tell you a little bit of the background to statistics at MIT. Back in the 1970s, the math department, which is my home department, was largely uh, the, nu the um, nexus of statistics at MIT. I arrived in the math department as an assistant professor in 1980. And at that time, we already had a small group of statisticians in the department led by the very well-known mathematical statist statistician Herman Chernoff. I'm sure a name that all of you know. Herman was trying to build up the, the statistics effort in the math department, but as it turned out, a mathematics department, or at least our mathematics department at that time, wasn't a good environment to develop statistics. St st develop statistics. Statistics is a mathematical science, but it has, a somewhat, it has somewhat different goals and a different culture than does mathematics itself. And so, Herman Chernoff left MIT. Uh, in fact, when I received tenure in 1986, I got his office. <laughs> so after losing Herman, which was certainly uh, was a huge loss, uh, the math department tried again and again to develop statistics. Uh, our students were clamoring for more classes in statistics. And at the very least, we needed people to teach them. But hiring and keeping the right outstanding people proved to be difficult. That is until now. Now, with the, the Statistics and Data Science Center, we bring together st statisticians and data scientists from across disciplines. That broad-based approach, under the supre superb leadership of Devevra Cha, the center's director, and Munzer Dalla, the director of the umbrella organization, IDSS, which is our Institute for Data Systems and Society, has been key to its success. Statistics has always been important for science, engineering, and industry. It is, after all, the science of how we make sense of our complex world. Now, with our enormous data sets and the ability to process them, the importance grows tremendously. Technologies such as machine learning are transforming our world and offer the possibility of shedding new light on intelligence, both human and artificial. This center is essential for MIT. At today's conference, you'll hear from researchers across MIT, from academia at large, and from industry about the challenges, challenges and opportunities in our data-rich data rich world. These are exciting times indeed to be working in statistics and data science. I cheer you on. Let me now turn the floor over to Devera Shah, Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and the Director of MIT's Statistics and Data Science Center. Devera. I hope my slides will be up in a second. So as Mike mentioned, I'm a, a director of statistics and data science. I'm a professor in electrical engineering and computer science, and I would like to welcome you all. Mike, thank you again for opening the event for all of us and your generous remarks. Uh, now, the purpose of this event is, a, um, okay, I'm gonna try to figure out how to move this as the next thing. Got it, there's a very green, clear next. So that's a good thing that I'm testing it. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, the purpose of this event is celebration and community building for us in statistics and data science at MIT and at large. Uh, this is the second installment of the event. We started this last year uh, around the same time. Uh, now that we've got n equals to one, we've got n equals to two, which means that we've got the induction started. And so we are hoping that this will become a celebrated tradition here at MIT as we move forward. Uh, 
As far as the center is concerned, just a few remarks. It's an academic center. It's an academic center part of Institute for Data Systems and Society. Um, it's uh, the way I would like to think of it is a Sam is twin of my home, uh, which is LIDS, where, uh, which is Laboratory for Information and Decision Systems. And as a center, it has remained the focal point of advancing academic program and research activity at MIT in statistics and data science. Uh, and we believe that uh, we would like to play an important role in defining the future of statistics as we move forward. Okay, so towards that, uh, here is our uh, uh, members of our center. These are the core members. Uh, the two I would like to point out, and in case you would miss them, you would see them on podium later today as they introduce various speakers. That's Surit Shra, who has joined uh, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, and Sasha Rocklin, who has joined Brain and Cognitive Science. And as you would see from here, as you get time later, we have a representation across the institution, across the units, and that, in a sense, is the core of how we believe statistics and data science should be done, both at MIT and beyond, that is fundamentally interdisciplinary. Okay. Uh, uh, just a few quick remarks on academic programs. Uh, Internally at MIT, we launched uh, undergraduate minor in statistics, again, believing in the context of that statistics is fundamentally uh, an interdisciplinary. This is the uh, fitting way to uh, provide the education for undergraduates. Uh, we have a PhD program launching in statistics and data science as an interdisciplinary P PhD starting coming fall. We have a very, um, a very active uh, and successful professional online education class available uh, since uh, fall 2016. And today we are announcing a soft launch of a micro masters program. Uh, so let me speak a little bit more about this micro masters. Uh, so the micro masters, uh, just at the highest level, the way MIT thinks of it is as follows: there is a huge unmet demand for rigorous education uh, for people who are not necessarily at the university, don't necessarily want to leave their current job or current. Uh, vocational profession, but they really want to have a structured curriculum in a rigorous manner. And MicroMaster's purpose is to provide that while you are in an online setting, but with the, all the right things that MIT provides, that is the TA support, structured lectures, uh, exams, forums, and whatnot. And it provides you a structured path to through a variety of courses as we are launching. These are the uh, four uh, uh, four courses that we are launching, one in probability, statistics, data analysis, and computation for statistics, uh, that is machine learning. And the way we believe is this is how uh, uh, the modern statistics should be taught. That is, these are the four foundational pillars. This is around which are all academic programs are organized, be it undergraduate minor, PhD, or micromasters, or professional education. Uh, these are some of the details. We have a booth on the... Uh, floor above this uh, outside. All sitting here would be manning the booth. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to stop by there. Uh, and any uh, uh, questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Uh, finally, uh, what we find ourselves in a, a great opportunity environment here, that is uh, we as an IDSS uh, and as a part of IDSS Statistics and Data Science Center started with the key connections to social sciences. Uh, Given where we are in terms of at MIT, uh, location-wise in Cambridge, and more broader um, uh, ecosystem, there's a great connections that we made and we continue to making with the life sciences. And there's a natural connections to the computation in addition to our foundational uh, uh, leadership in theoretical and applied statistics. Okay, here's a one quick uh, a flash to, or a shout out to um, an NSF tripod center that we have set up called MyFords here. It's a nice uh, interaction with our center and uh, what's on going on. And what is great about it is Peter Indic, who will be also one of the speakers today, is leading this effort. And the great thing is that it has a variety of theme semesters. This semester is on sublinear time algorithms and learning. And this is one of the events that's coming up later in the spring. Okay. And finally, I would like to thank our uh, sponsors. And with that, I'm going to leave this agenda and uh, ask so we're to come on stage and start introducing the first session. Morning, everybody, and great to see you here at the second SDSCon. Devrath has started out pretty nicely. And so this is the first session 
we'll have three speakers from MIT, and I'll just introduce those speakers to you, but briefly, as Devrath already said, uh, I'm a uh, new assistant professor in EECS. Uh, I'm part of IDSS and the Statistics Center. My own work focuses mostly on uh, optimization and machine learning and computational stuff in statistics. But let me talk a little bit uh, briefly about our speakers. Uh, you may be curious if you haven't yet looked at the agenda who our speakers are. So we have three people from very diverse uh, backgrounds uh, across MIT speaking uh, right now. So we'll begin with Professor Leonid Mirne, professor of physics. He's a, a co-director of the new Center for 3D uh, Structure and Physics of the Genome at MIT and UMass. And he will tell us about uh, computational structure and system biology. And after Leonid, we'll have uh, Josh Tenenbaum speaking, he's professor in uh, the Brain and Cognitive Sciences Center. He's uh, very well known for his contributions to Bayesian statistics, Bayesian thinking, and also for mathematical psychology, and more broadly, uh, he provides uh, uh, thought leadership in AI. And then the session, will close that session with uh, Piotr Indyk, uh, whom uh, they were just mentioned. He's leading our MyFods effort, and Piotr's gonna He's professor in the EECS department, uh, focusing in uh, computer science, and he will uh, tell us about quadratic time hardness for big data problems. And so with that, I'd like to welcome our three speakers and uh, hand over the stage to Leonid. <laughs> 